Okay, I gotta stop someplace. This thing just keeps going. There's a uh, JoJo <laughs> pint JoJo flask. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's go check on Paul. All right, then we'll come back. There's no end to this. It's just gonna keep on going. There's a broken insulator. All right, we'll come back, clean it out. Yeah. All right, we're back over here to Paul. You can see he's getting down in there. Yeah, but... I wanted to show a few things I just hit. Well, there was a oh, broken straight no. side of coke. The oh. top's gone from Decatur. Well, we can make a glass out of it. Some slicks, but uh, yeah, it's a nice like an olive oil bottle. Okay. And this is a Pinslar Detroit. That's a perfume, I think. Uh huh. Hand blown. And this jar says something on the bottom. It says uh, Libby McNeil and Libby. Okay. Incorporated Chicago. It's got a patent date, but well, it's awesome. kind of neat. That almost looks like an economy <coughs> jar, doesn't it? It does. This little bottle says Foley's Honey Pills. Hey. Foley and Company, Chicago. Well, good. <laughs> That's bottle. a neat one. Coffin flask. Yeah. And a few. There's most a of these Garrett are slicks. Wine. That's a Garrett wine. Yep. All right. But it's looking really good. There's about a oh, three or four good. foot layer of trash right here. Oh, man. And it's still going, so I don't want to dig good. it until I get down farther. But Yeah. It just looks, looks really good. And that Coke you just hit. It's from Decatur. Straight sided. The Coca-Cola Bottling Company Decatur. But we're going to make a glass out of that one. Look at that. That's a perfect candidate. Hey, it is. Nice lid. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Ron and Melissa gave us a bottle cutter. And, hey, oh, it's still got the stopper. It does, and the stuff's still in it. Oh, that's too Leon cool. Leon Perrin Worcester yep. sauce with the stopper It's embossed. got the stuff. Anybody want some? That's pretty cool. Hundred Over 100 years old, Leon yeah. Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Still sealed. Look at that. It's got the stopper embossed. That is awesome. Wow. You can, you can actually can smell it a little bit, too. That's pretty neat. Look at that. See all the thick stuff in there? Wow. That's interesting. 110-year-old bottle of Lee and Perrins. I don't think I'd want to break that and spill it out. Man, jars. And finding all kinds of things. That's a, big bottle. That's a big bottle, I think. Is it? It might be one of the big chemical bottles. Oh, yeah. That's not all right, though. I can't believe them things even survive. That is. That's a big one. Hey, it's a Herbine. Oh, yeah. Herbine from St. Louis. St. Louis bottle, hand yeah. All right, nice old hand blown bottle. Yeah. Look at this big old Herbine. Wow, there it comes. Looks like a. Whoa, it's whole. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> and on the bottom. No, All right, but hand it's whole, blown. Though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that probably come out of an old drugstore. Huh? Look at that. Probably half a gallon at least. Boy. Did you ever get down to the bottom? No. <laughs> I'm right on the bottom over there, but there's stuff right all the way to the bottom. Yeah, this is looking better the closer I get. Wow, there. look at that. It really looks good. <laughs> yeah. Keep watching his back dirt here. Come over here once in a while. Lid. Another lid. That's for one of them little... It's got a patent date on it. Hey, right so. here. Look at this. Right there. That... It's got a gob of cred on it. It looks like it fits right I on I think that's what it's for right there. Look at that. There's the jar and there's the lid. You just found it. All right. That's pretty neat. All right, Paul. And he's got another one here. And he's got a doodad. What is a doodad. Thingamajigger. It's a thingamajigger right there. Look at that. You don't find many thingamajiggers like that. <laughs> that's a nice one, too. I thought it was one of that top, like a top off a uh, sprinkling can, but... It's got a lid on it. Well, I don't know. What is that? Maybe somebody out there knows. It's got a lid. Yeah. Screws on anyway. Oh, three. Yep. <laughs> three gallon crock. 
get all this stuff wow, out of here. Wee. Man, this is fun. <laughs> Come up over the hill here and look just a little bit. Make sure nothing got thrown out down in here. Into a coffee pot. I don't see anything else. No marbles, of course. This is the, like the most loaded up bottle dump I've ever seen in my life, and yet the fewest marbles. And we've dug little spots before, we're nowhere near this amount, but hey, that's a cute little bottle. A little perfume? It is. A little perfume bottle. No, oh, that's nice. Look at that. That's got some cracks in the neck. Again, I think they had the stoppers that were frozen now, and they tried to use hot water and cold water and crack them. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Yeah, that is a big layer. It's sure about is. four feet layer. It's still going too right here. Man. Yeah, I just turned the camera off, started to walk away, and Paul said it looks like he's hitting something, either a crock or a jug down there. White. Oh, no, it's got a handle. It's a pitcher. Oh, it's a pitcher. Oh, it's got oh. the bottom rope. But wow, that was cool, though. That could have been. Somebody good. will probably want that, though, make a flower planter out of it. Look at that. See, at least it's got like some display side to it. A chemical bottle. Oh, yeah. A big bottle here. Oh, one of them mineral waters. Oh, yep. That's popular stuff. Three or four of them. Man. But yeah, we'll probably keep that. Get the flower pot out of it. <laughs> All right, come back over here to Paul. What are you hitting you over know, here? I had to call Dad over because I'm hitting a whole bunch of these DeWitt's oh. colic and cholera cures, which are actually hard to find. Yeah, they are. And I found three small size ones. Oh, cool, man. And two, two big size ones, and the big ones are hard to find. They are. That's a neat, Paul. And All there's right. been three or four broken ones, so. Yeah, he hit like a. And I found a nice uh, ribbed pepper sauce. That bottle. is, that's nice. With ribs yeah. on it and clear. Hand blown. And... All yeah. right. But that was kind of exciting. I don't know how that many. That is. That might be it, but yeah, those are actually really nice bottles. I don't know how you can see oh, it the sense. Right. No way. A little one. Look at that. He's hit into a pocket of those. Yeah. That is too cool. They look like they're going to clean up nice, too. Yeah. DeWitt's Colic and Cholera Cure. They're from Chicago. And those things are like $35, $40 a piece, man. Those, yeah. are, those are good bottles. The big ones are even more. Those are hard to find. There's a big size one there. Wow. We always talk about that, you know, hitting a, a cache of something, you know, several. One thing, but. That's awesome. Yeah, I hit a milk bottle, but it was it was on in Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that here. Boy, that is an old one though. One quart. It's got wash and return on the back of it. 1912, 1915 era. Boy, you're definitely hitting some stuff. Cobalt, that was a Brahma seltzer there. All right. That may be all of them for that now. That was it, okay. That well, was still a nice little find. That sure was. It was really good. Most of them I've ever seen at one time. Oh, there's another one. Is there? All yep. right. Yeah. <laughs> right there in one spot. I Somebody know. was addicted to that stuff. And you know, I found... Uh, one time I found a whole bunch of Chamberlain's collar call call and diarrhea remedies, and they look exactly like those bottles from Des Moines, Iowa. And they actually had opium in them. So I'll, I'll virtually bet these are the same because it was like a... Yeah. It was real addictive. 
and they'd buy them for the opium that was in them. Because that was legal back in the 1890s, early 1900s when they were throwing these away. When that usually what happens when you find several oh, one bottle. That. Ooh. Chipped up. that was an old looking pitcher. That was old. Or yeah. was it a sugar bowl? Probably a sugar bowl, yeah. yeah. Or a creamer. Boy, that was a nice little pattern on that. I apologize the angle of the sun here. I can't see very good. Yeah, it's like a little transfer printed pattern. Yeah, interesting day at the dump. It sure is. <laughs> really productive. It is. We're both finding cool stuff. Just a druggist or a whiskey. Slick, yeah. See the camera will focus down there, but it won't focus here in this sun very good. Too much glare. I was just digging away down there in the bottom. Another one that was broken. Oh. Like a bigger size one. Yeah. Well, there could be more. There might be more, yeah. All right, we've well, done good already for sure. More than I've ever seen. <laughs> I haven't seen that many before oh. ever. There Another we go. big There's one. A big one oh, too. yeah. Big size Dr. Duke. All DeWiss. right. Hey, that's great. Man. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. But see, like if Paul had, he'd stopped, like where he's digging now, he would have missed all that. If he'd have started right up in this area where all this trash was, he's seen it when we started, he could have easily taken off into that because it looked really good. But he's gone another four feet below that and do solid stuff. So, and he's still going. So it is just loaded down there. A broken one. Oh, man. That is really good, though. Yeah, I kind of got to follow them. Yeah. Them follow that little vein of gold. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. That is wonderful. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to take a break and get something to eat. I don't even know what time it is, but my stomach's telling me it's about chow time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go, back from lunch. Let's get something to eat. But anyhow, let's see, I don't know how well you can see this. I got on a light, if it helps any at all. Let's hope it does. A little food bottle that was broke. Got the top broke on, it was like an olive bottle or something. It's getting awful dark back in here. There's another little bottle. Hey, that one's embossed, all right. Vulture's grape juice. And we'll take it. Little hand-blown Welch's. That's one of the older Welch's grape juice bottles. You know, hand-blown one. All right, let's keep it going. See what else is in here? Paul's over there working away. There's a bottle up in there. Let's see if we can see what that one is. Oh, it's broke. A lot of trash. A lot of broken stuff right in here all of a sudden. Oh, there's a bottle back in there I can see. A couple of them here. There's a, let's get that one out. Looks like a food bottle or something. Hey, there went an ink bottle. All right. Oh, it's got a hole in it. A little ink bottle. Yeah, I might save it for somebody who might want it. So. Let's see what that one is. That's a, wow, a big hand-blown food bottle of some kind. Big tall cylinder food bottle, almost like a caper. I apologize. I'm trying to get some light on it. There's another unembossed. Oh, it's got something on the bottom. I can't quite make it out. Something different. Old something. Hmm. Old Gibraltar. It says Old Gibraltar on the bottom. <laughs> oh. Anyway, we'll look at that video later. Boy, there's bottles coming out. 
It's another slick. It's amber. PD and Company on the bottom. Yeah, I don't know what that old Gibraltar is. I don't know how well you can see it, but it says old Gibraltar, I believe, on the bottom of it. There's a couple here on the side. Oh, something. Oh, it is embossed. Good. Dr. King's new discovery for coughs and colds. I think Shelly and I found one of them last time, didn't we? Nice one from Chicago. That's a keeper. A little, a little slick one here. Oh, it's not a slick, actually. Crofts and Reed, Chicago. That's a little... Like a cologne-type bottle, I guess. I made extracts and all kinds of stuff. I think. Boy, that's just a... Pocket just keeps giving and giving there. Huh? Wow. Well, there's a couple right in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them out of there. I'm going to have to dig into this side to get those, but let's go for these in the back here. Oh, got the camera set up right here. <laughs> there's another bottle. Every time I try to dig a bottle, I hit another one. Okay, let's see if we can get it back in here. Oh, great big druggist. Nothing on it, though. Wow, ain't that a shame. Wish I'd have had something on it. And that one is broken. It was like a food bottle or something. Okay, there's a, another bottle there. Oh, that's another, another slick. Hand blown amber. Looks like a catch up there. Nope. Hand blown clear ketchup bottle. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff there. Okay, I think rather than go any farther back, I think I'm going to go off to the side over here. Let's see if maybe we can get couple more of these bottles out real quick. Oh, there's a one of them food bottles, kind of a little fancy around the base there. All right, that looks like pottery there. There's a little bottle. Yeah, that's cute, like a little whiskey. Oh, it's a neat little amber, like a mini whiskey bottle. Looks like a kind of a golden amber color. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I like that. Wish it would have said something on it, but at least it was whole. Thankful for that. Yeah, there's a. Looks like a green mineral water bowl or something there. Yeah, green hand blown crown top. Bottles just keep going. Wow. There's two more up in here. About right where I left off digging up in there, I think. Hey, that's cobalt. All right. Yeah. Oh, boy, I wish I would have said something on it, but at least it's pretty. Nice old cobalt hand-blown medicine bottle. Round one. All right. That's kind of nice. I don't know how well you can see that up in there. Is that a bottle? That is a little bottle. That's <laughs> a wee little amber bottle. I don't think it's got anything on it. But cutie though, isn't it? Alright, back over here to Paul. Look at this pile of bottles he's got. <laughs> That's amazing. He sure got a bunch of them. Pulling out more all the time. Yeah, I found a real nice embossed olive oil bottle oh, here. Oh, good. Hey, yeah. And a pint ball mason with the lid on it. Oh, look at that. A few things. 
Yeah, boy, that's a bold emboss. I'm in 3L ball. It's starting to fall in a little bit, lid. so. Yeah. I have to see what we can okay. Before it all comes in. Look at this. I don't know what that was. Roller skates? Or like something there. It's got four wheels on it. That's cool. See what this olive oil is. E. Masparos, extra fine Lucca olive oil. Oh, before and after cream cheese. I just got well, one of them at an auction. Yeah. You know what it is then. Yeah. From Newmeister of uh, Chicago. It was like a nice old jar. Got the handles broke. Sugar bowl. Yeah, it's got two handles. Nice mark on the yeah. bottom. And... Buckingham. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nice old. Got the handles gum. It's got some flowers on it. It's pretty. Yeah. Somebody might want that still. Nice decorative. Ridgeway's Royal Semi Porcelain Buckingham. That's an unusual mark. Probably 1890s. Might be 80s, but look at the flowers on there. Isn't that pretty? Well, is that the lid for it? Oh, I bet it is. Yeah, I don't look know at if that's that. Or not. Sure looks like it could be. Oh. Well, well, let's, let's see. Be a little small, but. Think. I don't know if that's the original lid. Would have taken a lid similar to that though, wouldn't it? Yeah, pretty neat. Oh, that's a green whiskey. Hey, green. look at that. That's pretty nice. Color. That's unusual. It is. That's a light emerald green. Oh, right. Well, it's still got the cork in it. That's pretty neat. That is a nice one, Paul. Look at that. Great color. <laughs> Hand blown. Yeah, that's a really pretty green hand-blown whiskey bottle. Wow. Nice little paneled sauce. Uh-huh, it is. Still got the cap on. Multi-sided, hand-blown. Probably ground lip on it. Oh, it's been a fun day. It sure has. We're still pulling them out. Oh, Bromo Seltzer. Hey, no, Bromo Cafe. Bromo Cafe. All I'm right, that's bigger your than the other one. Second one of the day for Paul and them. Bromo Cafe. Still got the cork in it. Boy, watch this when he. There's a. Oh, it's broken. Oh. Oh. Lots of trash right there. Good zone, man. Wow. Ought to still be a few bottles left in there, I think. I'll try to be careful and have a controlled fall here. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to keep an eye above me. Yep. I haven't seen any trickle yet. Yeah. And we probably wow. we pulled out well over a hundred bottles. We're still going. That's the rust right there. Mm-hmm. We appreciate all of you who are watching. Stay with us on these things. This is unembossed. Ark and Soap Company. Oh, good. Uh, oval ones. Hey, yeah. Like a tooth powder. See, there's part of the stopper still was in it. Was it? Yeah, it had like a little metal crown cap and you could shake it out, you know, as a liquid dentifrice. That's what that was, Ark and Soap Company. All right. We appreciate all of you, and we know these are long. I hope it's not too boring. If you like seeing a bunch of models coming out, you 
<laughs> we can at least do that. We pull out a lot of bottles. But it ain't about that. It ain't about value. It's just the fun. We have fun doing it. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing. All right, so. Boy, yeah, I don't know. What to do there. You got stuff all around. <laughs> Go any direction you're gonna hit in bottles. Yeah. That's really good. Oh, there's a doll head. Hey, is there? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. That is. It's got the back. At least yeah. The front of the head. Yep, just the front shoulders. Nice. Broke on it better than nice one. Sure is. Look at that. Curly head. Nice old doll head. Blue eyes. Have to clean that up. There's an ink. Yep. Sanford's. Is it? All right. Yeah, that's probably got something on the back of it, but just the front shoulder's broke, but needs to go to a doll hospital. Somebody fix that up. Nice style, though. Oh, there's a Chamberlain's cough ring. Oh, cool. <laughs> yep. Everyone's cough remedy. Careful pulling out a cork with you. Yeah, cork to slick. Ooh, nice old Sanford ink. Look at that cute, cool top on there. Sanford. Sorry, it's loud. Oh, that's all right. It's like 02. It might have been made in 1902 or something. Big Brahma, bigger Brahma. Hey, yeah. Cool. Cobalt blue. Color. Yep. Getting the cobalt. Glass chipped. Uh, uh oh. A little trickle. Yeah. I don't see anything big coming. I don't either. But, well, you never know. I can eh? see through that groundhog hole. Can you? <laughs> yeah, there's a groundhog hole right here. Where he dug in there. He wasn't here. He left or something. But... Boy, look at the bottle sticking out in there. Wow. Horseradishes. Oh, some of the label on that yeah. one. Three yeah, piece yeah. mold whiskey. Yeah. It's like vinegar. Yeah. Vin something. Square amber. Oh, nothing. Oh. Central something. PE, like Peoria. Might have been reused as a vinegar. It's an old hand-blown bottle. Piece Look at that. Heinz oh, Sweet Mixed that's... Pickles. It's got a picture on the label now of a that's pickle. That's cool. Look at if that. We can leave it like yeah. that, that would be great. Wow, that is nice, Paul. That's a really nice label on that. Yeah. Little jar. Yep. Lost. Yep. Heinz. Sweet mixed pickles. Boy, that's about one of the best labels I've seen come out of there. Look at the back. It's even got the back label sure on there. Is. 110 wow. years old. And it's embossed. H.J. Hines sent me on the bottom. Well, we know what that one was. What in the world is that? I don't know. You're finding Oil, tan or strange things, man. Well, like that was on the top of something. Like it sat like that, maybe. Oh. Hmm. Grass or copper. A lot of interesting things today. Okay, I don't want to hit that much. <laughs> Making the whole hole. Yeah. But it might be holding go. things together there. This way. There's a soda. Come on. Oh, it's a straight side. Is it road. really? Is it a Coke? Yep. It's Decatur. It's all right. I always find the Decatur. All right, but Paul. it looks like it's pretty good. Hey, there you go. Sweet. Yep. All right. Hand blown Decatur. Yeah. Strip Coca Cola. Woohoo! Yeah, right there you go, man. It's a good bottle. Sure is. All right, Paul's still there digging away. He's finding stuff, pulling them out left and right. 
got a just found a nice big size Caldwell syrup Pepsi. That's one of the older ones. The embossing vertical like that all on the front panel. That's the large size. We found all three sizes today. Cool. Now there's a soap dish. I hope it's whole. Oh, come on, baby. Behold. Oh, get oh too bad. It's got the yeah, oh well. side of it bumped out. Yeah. Oh, there's a light bulb. Hey, look at that Early now. Early Edison light bulb. Don't see many of them. Broken milk bottle. And then top on it. Yeah. Wow. Boy, oh boy. Something green. That could be brass. Whatever that is, it's almost shiny like a coin. Uh-huh. Can't tell. Ooh, you know what? That's kind of heavy, Paul. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is either. It, oh, it, look at that. Amber. Oh, that had uh, been pretty. Like hobnail. Hobnail, yeah. Hobnail. That's still pretty cool. I don't know if this is a coin. Oh. $50 gold piece, I think it is. That would be nice. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be cool if that was oh, something like that? H.J. Hines. Well, I tell you what, Paul, oh. I think that is some kind of brass or something i don't know there's a i guess that's another one of them wines or yeah mineral water sure, good. a little bit of good juice on there, there. It's a boot shoe polish i'm not sure what that is but it's pretty heavy it's like brass or something clam shell I don't know, we'll have to clean that up and see what that is. Yeah, I hope that turns out to be a coin. Or yeah, something. wouldn't that be something? It looks like it's got something on it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We'll have to investigate that. A little broken crop. Oh, you're finding all kinds of cool stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm recording here. I'm boxing stuff up for Paul in case he has a full cave in or something. Yeah, at the rate I'm going, he's going to cave in at some point. <laughs> we don't want to lose anything. Get some good ones out here. Oh, there's a Lydia Pinkham. Hey, all right. Lydia Pinkham. Got a little bit of greenish. He does one. have a little. A little hint of green in that, doesn't it? Yep. Just enough to be interesting. Wow. Nice little stuff in here. Oh, nothing on nothing it. You're going to fool around and hit an embossed one. Yeah. I finally got a nice embossed one earlier. Was a sign. Yeah. Like, oh man. Yeah. Oh. Got to stand up. My feet are falling asleep. Slicks, but they're still yeah, piles. big pile of them. Uh oh, there's a purple. Oh, it's broke, but it's Ooh, a it's what a was purple. that? It's a like a, a little vase, but a vase, yeah. I've not seen that kind of That's glass that, before. That's um, that, what do you call that? It's almost like, like a marble. Marble, yeah, it is. Like oh, that, it's still displays That's nice. Still really pretty, man. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I like that. Like a marbled, purple marbled glass. Slag, like a purple slag glass or something. Wow, that's still nice, Paul. That's, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. That is beautiful. It's got part of the foot broke off on it, but 
you could fix that, but that'd still display real nice. That's awesome, man. You're really hitting some different things here. Oh, there's an gillets, but it's got a chip. With oh, the owl, owl in the oh moon. yeah, gillets still might as well. Displays good. Keeper. We're keeping. Careful. Yep. Well, it's working out like planned. I'm yeah, to get a lot of it before it falls. You did a real good job on that, man. That was well done. That, that layer of cold tar pitch starts right there. I'm able oh, to, yeah. I'm able to chop through it, though. Good. Uh oh, is that something? Soda? Yeah. Oh, just to so much colors and trash. Oh yeah. Glass. There's a, there's a jug sticking in. Is there a jug in there? Yeah. All right. Just gonna zoom down in here and get that. Yeah, I can just barely see it. Maybe I'll try to clear an area. Oh yeah, clear. that's better. Yeah, I now we can see it. it. A little white jug. Boy, it's in there. It's stuck in that stuff, isn't it? All oh, the handles broke. Oh. little white jug. One of mine had the handle broke, too. Yeah. We'll let you count it since I had <laughs> one with it. I don't know if it counts or not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that bottle sticking out in there. Oh, yeah. Got, got a nice little pocket of them. I don't know if you can see it very good. Oh, soda. Your, uh, that one's cracked chipped on. and crashed. Yep, that one's chipped too. Where was that one from? Lincoln, Illinois. Was it Lincoln? H.J. Here. May. Let me see it. We can at least make a glass out of that one or something, maybe. Oh, it's chipped on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely a bunch of broken sodas right here. Is there? Uh-oh. Getting into Most a pocket. Most of them are Clinton. Oh, boy. Quite into a few a, of them. Getting into a pocket of sodas, maybe. Could be interesting. Oh, look at this. Water's coming yeah. out. Is that oh, wow. Is that a Garrett? Yeah, it is a big size. Oh, Garrett. Big. Look at that. Tall 15 inch Garrett. Yeah, look at that funky bulbous yeah. bottle that fell in there. What is that? It? Oh, it's embossed. Hey, Dad. is it really? What's it no say? Way. It's got a seal on it, too. Oh, cool. Is that St. Louis? Imperial Crown Perfumery Company, St. Yep, Louis. Yep, that's St. Louis. How that's about a, that? That's a nice bottle. Wow, I've been, Shelly and I have been finding them like, like this over there, smaller, but they're unembossed. Well, yeah, you you yeah, it's a long bottle. Cool. All right, that's interesting. Man. Hot zone. <laughs> it is. That's a good zone there. Woohoo. That's going to keep up. Putting keepers over There's here in the box. A little ink bottle. <laughs> a little ink. Yep, Carter's. All Clear. Right. That's a cute little bottle. That's a keeper. Sewing machine oil. It is, <laughs> sure and it's got, is. it's got a, I think it's a singer. Oh, yeah. You can see a little still bit some of the oil. label. All right. It's got the oil still in it. Oh, it's cool. It sure does. You can see the label, Singer label on the back. I don't know if that's a... That's interesting. It's paneled. Ooh, that's different. Nothing on it, but... Oh. What was that? It's hand blown. I don't know if that was a, a food or a sauce or a whiskey. I, I don't know either. That looks like a or whiskey bitter. type <laughs> thing. Yeah. Hmm. Cool looking bottle. No label to give us any indication on that one. Hand blown though, it looks like the top of a whiskey. 
Very interesting. Oh, broken soda. Oh no. It was another May from Hand Lincoln. me that up here. Top's we'll, gone. We'll <laughs> save them if we if they're salvageable from the you know that slug plate down, we'll do something with them. Yep, that was another one of them from Lincoln. Oh, I wish we could hit a couple of them. Those are scary. Broken sodas. Ooh. Dipping into a little pocket there. Oh. Hard to dig. Yeah. Hard packed stuff. 